this is Mad Hatter, and I've spent some time working on a cheaper, better, and just as fast item sorter for Minecraft Bedrock Edition. There has been a design that was modified by Silent Whisper that uses a piston and an obsidian block. This one does not use pistons or obsidian blocks. The pistons actually have been causing issues on one of the servers I'm playing on. Those pistons cause pending tick data to build up, which causes lag for all the players. So this design is just as fast, just as uh, simple to build, but a little bit cheaper. So let's get into the build. Okay, let's get started with the build. First thing we're going to do is we're going to go up five or six blocks. We're going to place two hoppers facing into these top blocks. On this second to the top one, we're going to place a double chest. And then behind that, we're going to place a transparent block. And then a, sorry, we're going to place a solid block up here. And then we're going to place a solid block down here break out those two temporary blocks. Underneath it here, we're going to place a redstone torch to lock up this hopper. Oops, that's not a torch. Now we're going to place a, a glass block here with a comparator on it. And then glass like that and a solid block here. Did I get it? There it is. Fill this in with redstone dust. And now this is enough to actually make the entire item filter work. The output chests are a little bit different. You are going to uh, place a single chest for this first one, and then a hopper, and then you can start your double chests. If you place this hopper facing out like you normally would, it will lock, and that, that's not very helpful. So, just like this. So now, this, the reason that this one works, and the, uh, piston one works is because there's no extra delay here. So it's just one tick and two ticks of delays. So we can put a couple more of these together. Well, I'll fast forward through that and be right back. Okay, so this is the four wide. You can tile this as many as you want, as few as you want. It doesn't really matter. Okay, now we just got to put the items in the filter. So we place an item in, and then we place some blocker items. I'm using coral right now. You don't have to use coral. You can use any item you want. Make sure that it's named. If it's not named, then if you put that item through your sorter, it will break. So... Make sure that you name your items. And now we need to have the item path. So we're going to go put a hopper chain, but you don't have to use a hopper chain. You can use a, uh, a water stream if you want. You just need to align the items appropriately. Now, I'm putting a trap chest up here just so that I can uh, work on this. Uh, when you open a trap chest, it locks the hoppers beneath it. It's super handy. 
So now I used uh, chests. Uh, let's do a search. Chests. I'm going to put both trapped and not trapped. Put a couple of other random items in the sorter. And then we had redstone. And what other things that we put in there? Glass and stone bricks. And then stone bricks. Or smooth stone blocks. So now. I'm going to toss these in. Doesn't matter what order they're in. It doesn't matter if they're not stackable. It doesn't matter if they're stackable. One of you eagle eye viewers may have noticed I did put the blue coral, coral in the chest. I ended up pulling it out so that way I didn't break the filter. Um, that is something you should not do. Don't put blue uh, like don't put your named item into your filters. Otherwise, it'll break things. So uh, I pulled that out just so it wouldn't break. That's how it worked. Other than that, I uh, I didn't change anything. I caught it in time. I was just looking in the chest and noticed there was blue coral in there, and I used that as my unique filter block. So na put a named block here. Definitely put a named block there. Okay, the items finished filtering. I look in this chest. Nothing in there. This hopper chain. Nothing in it. The locked hoppers, they have one item in, or 41 items in each of them, just like they should. These bottom ones will have one item in them. That is just part of the uh, way that this system works. Each of these chests has just the, those items in it. And if you look, there is no normal chests. These are all trapped chests. There is no normal glass, there's no redstone dust, and there's no uh, polished or smooth stone. Everything else went through. Anyway, that's the new item filter for Minecraft Bedrock. It's just as fast, it is just as reliable as the piston version, it causes less lag, and it's much cheaper. So hopefully you can use this on your world. Enjoy!